Hello and welcome back to ELV with Shamir. In today's video, we are going to see how to download and install KX TES TEM maintenance console that is PC programming and how to download and install its USB driver. Step 1. You can use the CD for the maintenance console along with the PBX box or else you can download and install the maintenance console by using the link which I mentioned below in description page. You can download both maintenance console and USB driver software. Now you can install the software similar like any other software installation you can just follow the steps. Click on next, then accept, then next. Now you can put a uh, username, then uh, company name also. Here you can put uh, any kind of username which you like to prefer. Company name also like uh, I'm just putting ELV with shame here. Then click on next. Then English. In this page, you can select any additional language if you need. Then click on next. Okay, next. Then next. The installation is almost going to complete. Now you can put the programming code. Here I'm just uh, putting like uh, one, two, three, four. The similar like uh, program password also for the system I'm just putting one two three four click on finish now the software installation almost finished now you can download a USB driver for Windows here is the link you can download by using this link This is the main interface between the main console and the PBX device via USB connection. You extract the downloaded file and copy to any other location if you need to use in future. Once the downloading completed, you can connect your PBX to your PC via a USB cable. Then go to device manager here you can see in other devices kxtes824 then right click on kxtes824 click on update driver then browse my computer for driver Here you can root to your downloaded file and click on next. Now you can see the driver installation started then click on install. Now windows has successfully uploaded USB driver. Here we can open maintenance console, it will prompt for programming code and password. In this we use 1, 2, 3, 4 as both a programming code and password. Don't forget to select connection type that is USB. Now maintenance console is open, we will see one by one. In system, first one is date and time, enter date and time, here you can see the PT programming number 000 
for date and time once you enter date and time then click on apply it will be stored next click on main here you can change your system password default system password is 1234 above you can see the pt programming number to change system password that is 002 number 3 numbering plan here you can see jack number from 01 to 24 you can choose numbering plan here there are three main numbering plans plan 1 100 to 199 then plan 2 100 to 499 plan 3 10 to 49 similarly you can assign name for each extension number right hand side you can choose operator and automatic line access number you can use either 0 or 9 normally using 0 for operator and 9 for line access extension group assign extension group extension handling and call pickup group for disha or automatic call attendant for the same pt programming number you can see above that is 600 for extension group settings line mode pt programming number 414 here we can assign co type whether it is normal or disha from co1 to co8 incoming and outgoing here we can allow or block incoming and outgoing call for each extension depending on co line number we can assign ring start time for each incoming call based on time mode like day night and lunch similarly outgoing call also we can restrict for each extension from 1 to 24 depending on co number dial mode pt programming number 400 here we can assign connection type dial mode etc Normally we are using DTMF as dial mode in PBX. Next one is speed dialing. You can assign speed dialing name and number here in this page. TRS settings. We can assign two settings for each jack from 1 to 24 in different time mode like day night and lunch there are total of five course numbering course one course two course three course four and course five course one is pre-assigned and we can't change we can assign course two to course five for each extension based on denied codes and exceptional codes Denied code and exception code. These things we already discussed in PT programming part 4 video. If you are watching first time, go to playlist and watch part 4 for more about TRS settings. I will add link in description page for easy access. Disha settings direct invert system access here we can assign disha incoming call dial mode without auto attendant or with auto attendant then we can assign auto attendant table for each number from 0 to 9 0 for operator 
one for sales two for accounts like that